Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Dark House. Now today I don't bring you guys another tutorial, more of a suggestion. This coming from a question of one of my viewers. He asked me which I thought was the best plugin for After Effects. Now, I don't think there's a proper answer for that. I think it depends on what you're doing in After Effects, which will be the best plugin for you. In my case, I do different things on, on After Effects, from color correction to visual effects to animating, so I have a lot of different plugins that I really, really love. With that being said, I bring you guys my top 10 plugins for After Effects. Number 10, the Noiser 2 from Red Giant. If you like me are working on low budget, especially with low budget camera, which in my case is a Canon 60D, then you definitely know what noise is. So with just a few clicks, the Noiser 2 from Red Giant allows you to get rid of that nasty noise that you get by shooting in high ISO or with low lights. So it's definitely one of the plugins that I need to have with me at all times. Number nine, Twixter Pro. Twixter Pro is a plugin that allows you to slow down or speed up your footage. Now I know what you're probably thinking, same thing I was thinking when I first heard of this plugin. Okay, I can do that in After Effects, I can do that in Premiere, or I can even do that in Sony Vegas. Not like this. This is definitely an extremely powerful plugin. The first time I used it, I fell in love with it right away. The outcome of this plugin is definitely one of the best ones. It's just amazing. I definitely recommend using it. Now it is a bit pricey, but I feel, you know, if you're actually doing this uh, in a professional way, it's worth every penny. Number eight, Metal Freeform. is a 3D mesh warp plugin. It can transform your footage into 3D shapes using points, planes, primitives, and wireframes. It can be used to create terrains, water simulations, among, among others. It's also used a lot in 3D character animations using 2D images. Very similar to Trap Code Mirror. Uh, however, in my experience, Trap Code Mirror does not have the same capabilities. I love Trap Code Mirror, however, Freeform Pro is definitely above Trap Code Mirror for me. So with that, Freeform Pro is my number eight on my list. Number seven, Magic Bullet Looks from Red Giant. Magic Bullet Looks is a color correction plugin. With just a simple clicks, you can change the entire look of your footage. It comes with a bunch of different presets. You can also customize, create, and save your own presets so whether you're a VFX artist or a timeline editor, Magic Bullet Looks is definitely good for you. In my case, I do a lot of visual effects, and from time to time I jump from visual effects to editing to animating. So a lot of times I don't have a lot of time to be looking for the proper color correction. So definitely Magic Bullet Looks is one of my favorite plugins, not only because it gives you an amazing look, it just saves you a bunch of time, period. Number six, Duik. Duik is a rigging and animating tool. Definitely one of my favorite plugins at the moment. I started using it a few months ago and definitely fell in love with it. It's not an effect, it's a script. And this script creates riggings and if you have some sort of uh, 3D background, then you know what rigging is and it can be very, very painful. So. If you have a tool that saves you a lot of time and it creates a rig with a few clicks, then you can't get any better than that. Whether you're looking to becoming a 2D animator like cartoons, Duik is definitely the plugin for you. It allows you to create rigs using expressions so you can concentrate on animating. So whether you're animating a snake, a horse, a gigantic monster, or a human shape, definitely Duik is a tool that you want to keep close by. Number five, Trap Code Dow. Trapco DAO is a 3D geometry generator. Now, you can create anything from tags to abstract terrains, tunnels, and crazy weird figures. It can create geometry from mask paths, or the motion of 3D lights, or the preset paths that are included in the, in the plugin. So given the fact that DAO generates 3D geometry, and it's only a hundred bucks compared to other very expensive plugins. It definitely makes it my number five on my top list of After Effects plugins. Number four, Optical Flares from Video Copilot. 
being the very first plugin that I ever used, <laughs> I fell in love with it the moment I saw it. Not only it works in 2D elements, it also tracks your 3D lights. Whether you're a VFX artist, again, your timeline editor, or you're an animator, and you're doing the final composition, Optical Flares gives your composition an essential touch of realism and professionalism. Number three, Plexus 2. Plexus 2 is a particle plugin. Not only it lets you render the particles, but it lets you build interaction between them. Also, not only it works with points, but also lines, sprites, facet effects to generate geometry, create text layer interactions, contain all your particles in a 3D geometry, and the best part, import geometry from OBJ files. Now, these are just some of the features that fit Plexus over trap code form and giving it the third place on my list. Number two, trap code particular by Red Giant. Particular earns the number two on my spot just for the fact that it gives birth to particles and beyond that, it lets you control them completely. From a variety of particle types to world physics, Particular is the best particle simulator for After Effects. Number one, Element 3D. Now, I feel that Element 3D changed entirely the world for After Effects. I wouldn't even know where to start by telling you what makes it the best plugin. So I'm gonna share a little bit of an experience that I had. A few months ago, a friend of mine made a song and we wanted to do a music video for it. However, we didn't have any budget. We didn't have any budget to hire extras. We didn't have any budget to hire a place to film. We didn't have any budget to do anything. So uh, we were very, uh, I guess we were very tight on everything, so I said, hey, let me see if I can do something with uh, green screen beyond what I already do. And I wanted to push myself further and I wanted to push Element 3D further and see how much can I get out of the plugin, myself, and the computer combined. So I put myself a deadline of two weeks and I was able to come up with something that I thought was very good uh, for that workflow, that timeline, and uh, the capabilities of what we had. This this video came from a zero dollar budget and uh, just using one camera, one computer, and one green screen. I was able to come up with this. you guys like it if you guys want to finish watching the video you can go to the description of the video and I'll post the link right there also I'll have links for all the plugins that I just mentioned if you guys agree with my list post it in the comments below if you guys think that I missed the plugin and one of the plugins that I mentioned shouldn't be there and another plugin should be there post it in the comments below also I hope you guys give it a thumbs up and uh, Go ahead and download Duik as it's actually free and we're going to be using it for our next tutorial. And again, I'm Sean Garris and as always, I'll see you guys next time.